Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial about uh, JavaSync. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, J internal frame swing component. So J internal frame uh, is very similar to J frame and it shares uh, most of properties of J, J frame. But uh, there is uh, one major difference between these two components and that uh, difference is that uh, J internal frame cannot be a standalone container. So it must be added on container called J desktop pane and desktop pane can, can be added on some other uh, top level container like uh, J, uh, J frame in our case. So let's start from creating a new class. I'll name my class internal frame. Let's delete these. Uh, here I'm going to inherit uh, everything from JFrame. So JFrame will be our top level standalone container. And I will import my JFrame from JavaSync. So uh, first, uh, I have to create my J desktop pane container. Uh, J desktop pane will contain our J internal frame. Uh, now I'm going to make my J internal frame. As an argument, I can pass uh, title of my internal frame, and it will be like J internal frame demo. Also, I'm going to import J internal frame from Java X Swing library. And that should be it. So let's start from creating a, a constructor. Okay. Uh, before I add my uh, internal frame on desktop pane, I will have to set a few properties for that component. Uh, first method. So I'm going to call a few methods. Uh, first method I'm going to call is uh, set size. And it will be like 320 with 240. And uh, next method I am going to call is uh, set visible. And it will be true. Uh, that's enough for now. So let's add our J internal frame on J desktop pane. And finally, desktop pane on our JFrame. In main method, let's instantiate internal frame class. Uh, let's call set default close operation method. Dispose of close. Set size method. 640 with 480. And set visible method. Okay, let's uh, run this to see what we got. And here it is, our J internal frame with this title. Uh, but as you can see, it uh, doesn't share a lot of properties uh, of our J frame. Uh, simply, it's not uh, closable, maximizable, minimizable, or resizable. So uh, we can just move it uh, on our desktop in this. 
So let's uh, set uh, those uh, properties also, like uh, closable, maximizable, minimizable. Uh, here I'm going to call int frame set maximizable method so we can maximize it. Set iconifiable, I think I pronounce it good, for so we can minimize our j internal frame. Uh, set resizable and set closable. So we can close our internal frame. Uh, when we called set closable method, uh, we also have to define a set default close operation method. Uh, we have to define v how uh, how our internal frame will react when we click this uh, exit button. And it will be j internal frame. And of course it will be dispose of close because uh, we don't want to exit from our program when we click uh, exit button, we just want to dispose our internal frame. Okay, that's it. Let's run it. And here it is, as you can see. I can resize my J internal frame now. I can minimize it, restore it, maximize it, also restore it. And in the end, I can close my J internal frame. And uh, that should be it for this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.